Hesis takes responsibility for SnapTap use. Blanking, embarrassing, and amateur from me. In a statement to HLTV, ESL also outlined the process it undertook before the tournament to ensure teams were aware of the consequences of using banned keyboard features on LAN. Why don't they check? Is it too hard to check? Like, just before? Or, just look at look at how he's moving, no? Let's see. Uh, Tessis admitted that he was the player who used SnapTap in Heroic's opening map against NIP. Calling the mistake blanking, embarrassing, and amateur, and stating that it is not used on purpose. I believe him. No, I actually do. You you have to be dumb to use SnapTap when it's when it's so blatantly obvious you can even just see it on the screen, you know? Like it's actually just it would be dumb to do. And think you're not gonna get caught, you know? And it, it, I mean there's no way he didn't do it on, on accident. Wait, let me get a song. Boom. Okay, and we'll, we'll go through the rest of the drama. Let me just read this first to get a, a baseline so everyone is up to speed. Heroic kicked off their series of Pro League by stealing NIP's ancient pick, 13 to 10. But had the map win overturned after ESL discovered that a player had used SnapTap during the game. Heroic bounced back from the news by winning their nuke pick, but ca capitulated it on the, the Vertigo Decider to lose the series 1 to 2. He says, I turned it off ages ago. But when it was banned from Valve, uh, Testis explained on X after the match, I didn't notice it during the game or anything, and obviously didn't do it on purpose. I let the boys down and I'm devastated about it. Chat, I feel like what I would be mostly confused about is wouldn't you automatically notice it? Like, I'm not even good at the game and I instantly notice when I have SnapTap on or when I have it off. In a statement to HLTV, an ESL representative explained the steps to organizer took the organizer took in advance of the tournament to ensure regulations and consequences for using movement automating keyboard features were made clear to players and teams and shed light on how failure to comply will be handled by the tournament management. So like when you have SnapTap on or off, all you have to do to test it is click D and then A. Like you'll you'll instantly notice it, right? He went the whole game without noticing on Thursday. Every team was made aware of the new regulations via email, the tournaments, the, the statement said. Yesterday on Media Day, the tournament management team reminded each player from each team of the new ruling for EPL this season and were required to sign a document stating that they would understand the rule, the punishment that would apply, and the accepting consequences. Each player on each team signed the document. Failure to comply may result in a default loss or in the worst case, now I'm thinking about cases. Disqualification. On the back end, we have a tool that helps us detect the use of SnapTap. Rappy Snappy. SOCD or similar assistance. Each incident that might occur will be reviewed individually and elevated on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay. G2 player Monizi expressed his opinion regarding Heroic's map loss. You have to be careful. When you change the computer, it turns on automatically. Tech defeat or for SnapTap. You have to be careful. Keck. The funniest thing is that when you change the computer, it turns on automatically. Yesterday, when I was setting up the SSD in the studio, it was on. Although I turned off more than a week ago. Maybe Tessis didn't know. Nerds tweets. I want to make it clear. Stop with the blanking hate towards Tessis. Tessis is the last guy to do it on purpose. Apparently, when you're switching PCs, it turns on. It is what it is. Just lost to NIP. GG. Well played. Tomorrow, new game, new chance. Love you all. Yeah. I guess it just automatically turns on. Who even buys a SnapTap keyboard if you're pro? Zeb, I don't want to call you out here, but I believe 80% of the pro scene is currently using the Huntsman V3 keyboard. That's the keyboard that has SnapTap. It's a Razer keyboard. Razer has basically given out this keyboard to every single pro. And you're saying, who even buys it? First off, they don't buy it. They get it for free. Second off, it's the most used keyboard by a pro. So yes, if you're pro, you're likely using this keyboard. Um, what did JL tweet about it? Heroic might win a best of five against NIP in their opening game in EPL. Not sure how I feel about the format. Not a big fan of BO5. Curious as to why. Jokes aside, it does feel unintentional. We as players sign, pro sign papers to not use SnapTap or else we get disqualified. I feel like JL just didn't know that it was accidental at this point. He tweeted this a couple hours ago. Mm. 
The first pay to lose feature. Lol. I'm assuming may maybe one of the players had Snapchat saved on their onboard memory. When they were at home, then, cha then they changed it to off. Something like that. So, when it comes down to it, the whole Tessa situation. Did he say anything, actually? Let me pull up his Twitter. Blanking, embarrassing, and amateur from me. I turned it off ages ago when it was banned from Valve. I didn't notice it during the game or anything, and obviously didn't do it on purpose. I let the boys down, and I'm devastated about it. Um, my thoughts? Pros just have to be more careful from now on, because... For now, it seems like the, the Razer keyboard, this one, it seems like it's automatically turning on in the uh, in the Razer Synapse when you get on a new computer. Like, let me check mine right now. Is it on? No, it's not on. But apparently when you get on a new computer, plug in your keyboard, it will automatically be on. So I shouldn't have to say this, but apparently I do. If you're a pro and you're getting on a new computer, you have to double check to turn it off. Otherwise, this will happen. I don't think it's his fault, genuinely. But he probably could have noticed it. Not gonna lie. Make sure to subscribe. <clears throat> subscribe.